basically in a nutshell, this is a very large battery bank on a very small array. So on my, I did some rough calculations. This array would take about a week in full sunlight every day to get this battery bank charged up from discharged to charged. So really what happens is a lot of times is the Austin Energy ends up charging this with grid power, um, get the battery bank up, then they get out there to do their demonstration. And the array, you know, is basically just sort of doing a little bit of maintenance on the batteries. But oftentimes the loads being drawn from will exceed maybe the eight or 900 watts you might get from the array. So the array does help. It helps prolong the, uh, the effective lifespan of the batteries when they're off, out in the field. Um, and then, you know, when, once we get the batteries uh, fully maintained, though, my hope is that, uh, you know, what, what they've been doing is normally storing this with the array disconnected from the charge controller. So in other words, when it's sitting out there in their storage facility out in the parking lot in the sun, it's not charging the batteries. And given the state of the battery bank right now, that, that was a good decision because it would result in overcharge of some of the batteries. If some are, are low in voltage, it's going to imply that some will get over voltage as it charges up. My hope is that once we get the batteries uh, dropped in, we'll use the grid power to, to do an equalization charge, bring them all up to the same voltage, and then when we leave it out there, yeah, we can leave that solar array on for a week or two, no problem. Use the sun to charge up the battery as it's intended.